Raise your hand if you've ever had problems with technology before. All those hands should be raised in the class, even mine. I'm Miss Meredith, and today I am going to show you some tips and tricks of what you can try when you're having issues with technology. A lot of problem solving with technology is honestly trial and error. Sometimes the tricks work, sometimes they don't. But hey, you can always go through this list to see what happens and hopefully you have a great working device. I'll see you in a minute. These troubleshooting steps that I'm going to be showing you don't necessarily have to go in the order that they are listed. As you keep experimenting with technology, you're going to get better and better at these troubleshooting techniques. So you'll kind of have a basis as to which one to start with. First, if you are using something that's running on the internet, just refresh the page and reload it and see what happens. It might just have had an error and it will keep working in smooth order. Next, if you're still having issues, exit out of the tab or app and reopen it. Like I always say, when in doubt, exit out. Or if you're using an iPad, when in doubt, swipe it out. Also using a different web browser might fix the issue. I use some websites that only work well on Google Chrome, and there are other websites I use that only work well on Firefox. So play around with different web browsers that might help you out. Also, if you can't get into something, you might have to delete and retype what you wrote. Now, this can be frustrating, especially if there's a lot of words and letters and punctuation, but hey, you are going to get faster at your typing and you will be more careful next time to make sure you type it incorrectly. Also, if things aren't working and you can't get into the assignment that you're hoping to, start over and go through each step carefully. Just like in baking, you want to make sure you follow each step in order. Just like when you use technology, you want to follow each step in order. If you are patient and go through each of the steps, then you will be able to complete your task successfully. So don't rush through things. Go through each step carefully. Also, computers work very hard and they just need a little bit of a break. So shut down the device and turn it back on and it might just wake up and be ready to roll. Also, unplugging or replugging the device can help solve your issues. You might not realize that your battery is running lower than you thought, so plug it in and it might help start working a lot better later. And if you're still having trouble, make sure you ask three before me. I know that teachers are very busy. If you might not think so, they are. And if you ask three before me, there might be somebody else in your class that actually has had the same issue that you've had, and they can help you out. Now, when you're helping each other out, make sure that you're not touching that other person's device. When you are the one teaching somebody, you want to be like the YouTube tutorial. If you just do it for them, the person isn't going to learn. So talk them through the steps. Have that person go through the steps that you're explaining. That way, when that issue arises again, you know how to do it and that person knows how to do it and you can help more people in your class. Thank you so much for joining me today and going through those tips and tricks to help you troubleshoot technology. So before you go crying and say your device is broken, it's broken, it's broken, it doesn't work, you need to go through those steps and see what happens and you might actually fix and solve the problem. I'll talk to you later.